Hello, everybody. Welcome back to a new episode of the Hot Higher Self podcast. I'm your host, Silkina. Thank you so much for joining in on this very special episode. I am joined by one of my best friends, Rithika, who also happens to be in the spiritual industry, the spiritual world. Rithika um, talks a lot about karmic relationships, the role of karma in our lives. So today we're going to talk everything about that, like how... Um, your past lives and how um, the karma that you accumulated in your past lives really affect like um, the current relationships that you're in and also not just relationships to other people but the way that you think and relate to yourself like relationships to yourself okay so Ritika do you want to like introduce yourself a little bit yes I mean your introduction was already quite I know you know concise and described everything that I do but uh, yes I started out on this journey with you know, understanding energy and how that works. Um, You know, I learned about pranic healing and understanding our energy body, our chakras, and how all of these emotions kind of get stored in our energy body over time. And not just in this lifetime, but, you know, from previous lifetimes, also from our childhood. Also, you know, things that we have been carrying on through our ancestors as well. so karma healing really releases those subconscious beliefs that we have been holding on to for years, decades, sometimes even centuries and um, helps in, you know, sort of making a clean slate so that it becomes easier for us to manifest whatever it is that we want in our life. Yeah. All right. Well, you basically already described what karmic contracts are. And I think like in this episode, we're all, we're also going to talk about like the role of soulmates and twin flames because I think a lot of my audience always have that question because a lot of people that are in my world they talk a lot about like manifesting a specific person which we're going to have a special episode on that so we're not going to talk like too deep on that like what we want to focus on in this episode is um you know what like what we accumulated in our past lives and how it is affecting us right now so maybe for people that don't understand past lives like what is a past life (laughs) so um it's not possible that our soul has just come here on earth to live this life yeah what about all the other lifetimes like we are energy at the end of the day right i say that all the time it's in it's in my bio like everything is energy exactly so if we are energy (coughs) then energy hasn't come in just to live only this life there has definitely been other lifetimes that we have lived or maybe simultaneously living right like it's not even that time is linear so it's a way of saying past lifetimes but it essentially means we are living multiple lifetimes yeah and i mean this is kind of what the name of my podcast is like hot higher self like it's about connecting to your higher higher self self. your soul that has lived all these lives and is in this avatar in our body like our body and our mind only know so much but once you connect to your higher self that essence and that energy knows yeah you get access to so much more so it's like a web of energy right and you're just tapping into like those different parts yeah um which are not necessarily just this life that you're living it could be another life but on earth we see them as timelines right and so we say past lives but Mm. essentially it's just different lifetimes in different timelines on earth and it's happening right now it's all just happening right now yeah. simultaneously but there are certain things that we are picking up from these different lifetimes and they are defining us like you know our memory is not so well contained in each yeah. of these different containers sometimes it gets overlapped yeah and so what is that overlap what is that negative karma that is being created it's just easier to understand past lives yeah right it's easier to put it in that linear format but uh, essentially it's just like you know it's it's hard for our soul for the energy to not mix up you know other energies from different lifetimes and so if yeah. you're learning a skill set say i'm learning a piano how to play the piano in another lifetime it's going to be easier, relatively easier for me to pick up on a piano skill in this lifetime. Yeah. So that applies for anything, whether it is positive or negative, right? It's just our way of 
seeing it we call it positive or negative essentially it's just a certain it, it energy just is. it's just a certain skill set it's just a certain emotion you know we're just picking up on things and some of them get stored it's not just fresh that it's not all from this life but it's also from like you know coming in from different spaces that yeah. we exist in so like the way that i imagine it is you know some people have lived hundreds of lives and maybe some people have lived like tens or um like a dozen lives so how do we know currently if it is like a past life karma because everything can't be a past life karma right like like how do we know in this current life when we're feeling like oh my god like why does this keep happening to me like is it when you feel like you're repeating a pattern is that when we can you know maybe seek an expert um you know like healing session from you like how does somebody know that they're living through a past life karma um it's not necessary it has to come from a past life if anything okay. is bothering you if you feel that you're getting stuck in a certain situation in your life whether that is a relationship or it is you know your career is not moving forward or you know health wise something is not working out for you and your your body seems to be stuck in that loop of you know being unhealthy in a certain way whatever it might be if you feel you're stuck somewhere there is definitely something that you're meant to learn from it yeah um there is definitely something that you know your soul has come here to neutralize a certain negative karma that might have been created in a different lifetime or it could be from this lifetime as well it's only when i mm. do the reading when i work with the individual that i come to know where is it really originating from yeah. and it's essential for me to understand where does it really originate from because then i can cleanse it from the roots yeah um <laughs> once it is cleansed from the roots it's not going to affect the rest of the plant right like if the roots are clean you're going to grow better yeah um so it's just understanding where is it originating from could be from this life it could be from any previous life yeah. or any other like you know timeline that you're living in um could be that you're carrying this from generations you have reincarnated in your family itself over uh, multiple generations and there's something that you have seen repeating in your family tree yeah. and it's been carried down to you or it could be even from your childhood yeah. you know some traumatic event that probably happened and you didn't know how to deal with it mindfully back then and you just like you know moved on from it um but it's somewhere subconsciously you know sitting with you and it's defining how you are in your relationships or in your work and you yeah. know or your relationship to yourself and i think it's also important to note that like karma healing and past life healing like they're all tools to make yourself um feel better in this lifetime and for you to reach your potential in this lifetime but it's not like an excuse right cuz then if somebody is still in that victim mindset it's so easy to use things like oh you know especially when it comes to like relationships like maybe i have a past life karma debt that i have to pay with this person that's hurting me and that's sort of your excuse to not leave that relationship and i'm only saying that because it's like a lot of people that come into my world use words like that you know like oh maybe but like but maybe this is my lesson but but maybe you know this is my twin flame or this is my soulmate and i have to go through with it so like how do you make sense of that when somebody is in a relationship where there's like so much friction and so much back and forth does that mean that our soul chose that suffering to like you know evolve in this lifetime but at the same time when do you say stop to that suffering So I mean when when you went to school it's not that you went to school just to stay stuck in fourth grade yeah. right you went to school to oh to God. move on <laughs> that would be nice I know I know this me. is like a very like you know strange way yeah, to put it but yeah. sometimes you just need to like you know draw the lines between so what like you're the going lesson is life. not to keep yourself stuck stuck exactly. like the lesson is to actually transcend yeah right yeah but like what do you usually say to your clients who's in that mindset cuz you know you know what it's like right yeah. in that mindset it's like especially if it has to do with a person some people just don't even want to listen like they just want that person and they're like oh my god which is why it's so important to have a relationship with your higher self with your soul yeah. and that it's not just about externalizing your energy towards another person 
so it's not just about um first is like you know you need to accept mm. where where is it that you know yeah things are going wrong yeah it's not to put blame on one thing or the other not to put blame on another person it's not to put blame on your karma it's not to put blame on your you know destiny and what you're meant for and things like that great yeah because karma can be changed it can be worked on and neutralized that's the most important thing to know yeah the yeah. most important it's not that you know okay i've got negative karma so i just sit with it and i don't do anything about yeah. it you have to work on neutralizing that karma and that's what you're here for yeah we haven't come here on earth just to live this life go work a 9 to 5 job or like you know whatever do do our work and yeah. uh, you know live a mundane life go be in a out, miserable a relationship routine, especially be in a miserable relationship exactly yeah we've come here to our soul is here to grow and to evolve so yeah. can we like you know give it that chance and opportunity to evolve and there's something that i recently <coughs> learned from my spiritual teacher and he said something really amazing yeah um it's all about combining inner work with outer work mm-hmm. um you can't just do the inner work you can't just do meditations and affirmations and you know not take action when it comes to your life yeah. you have to be able to you know put all of those things that you have been practicing when you're by yourself when you're out in the real world as well so um it's just really important that we're not too like it has to be a balance of both we, yeah. we're not too focused on inner work and not doing the outer work or we are just too focused on the outer work and being super pragmatic and practical about everything in life but not uh, you know tapping into our spiritual side so it has yeah. to be a big mix of both because at the end of the day like we are here on earth to experience human life right so it's like what's the point of only using these tools when you're sitting in your meditation chair mm-hmm. but when you're actually confronted with a person or even with a trigger or a circumstance then you sort of forget everything and go back to your you know like Uh, human ways which yeah. i mean it happens it happens, happens to me it, it happens, happens to, to me. me as well <laughs> yeah like I even still, though we know these things i still get triggered yeah, me, yeah still. of course <laughs> like i mean what you said about acceptance as well like that totally. is that is the, the core of you know eft tapping which is what i teach like my channel is all about that um it is about accepting where you are and not blaming yourself because again blaming yourself comes from that victim mindset like poor me like i can't believe this person did this to me like if you don't accept that okay you know there was some part of me like you said subconscious part of me generational even sometimes yeah most of the time like if you don't accept that you know i played a part in creating this reality but it's not that i'm blaming myself for it but i'm taking responsibility for it yeah I find that a lot of the clients that really succeed in my world, it, they just don't feel sorry for themselves. Like they just take responsibility and they're like, "Okay, if I can create that, then I can co-create like a different reality." And also like they want it so badly that they they do work, Put in the work. on it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like they will not make excuses in the morning like oh i i don't know how to meditate i for, i forget how to meditate yeah um, you have to be able to prioritize this <coughs> and it's something that i i say to people who are new to meditation and you know um new to just sitting by themselves and you know reflecting yeah. on you know what they're going through it's just like taking a shower if you if you can go and clean your physical body can you do something about cleansing your energy body as well yeah and uh, you know why not just spare 5 minutes in a day to start with yeah it all it takes create the habit minutes. first yeah just create the habit and also like don't expect you know i'm sure a lot of you are going to watch this and like book a session with Ritika but don't expect like after one session even though energy moves really quickly but some of us do have baggage that we have accumulated from god knows how many lives and even trauma from this lifetime right yeah so it's like don't expect after one session that everything is just going to be roses and sunshines and you know like everything is just going to be perfect right away yeah it can happen of course things move fast but 
like you said, you have to put in the work. Yes. You know, it is an energy exchange, yes. like manifestation and stuff like that. It is an energy exchange. Like, you are co-creating with the creator, with God, right? Like, things are not just handed to you. Because, like, if if you relate it to, like, karma, it makes sense. Because, th- because what if this is our lesson? Like, this is what we have to learn. And we don't learn with things just getting handed to us. No. You know, like we learn through experience, you know, so it's like sometimes pe- like same thing with like, you know, um, tapping and stuff. They're like, oh, but I've, I've done this tapping so many times and it um, didn't work for me. And I'm like, what is so many times? Like, I can guarantee you, you have not been consistent for 90 days yeah. or even like 100 days and really being intentional with your thoughts. Like, what are you thinking? And not letting anything slip. Right. right. Like. Joe Dispenza yeah, no, always I, I, says, like, not letting any thoughts slip your slip new awareness. Yeah. There's, there's uh, something that I always tell my clients. I'm like, you know, don't don't ju- just do it as homework. That, you know, Ritika has told like to me to do... Like to take a list. Yeah. 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 It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Yeah. And not even, like, you know, if you're just doing it robotically. Yeah. If you're not, like you said, do it intentionally, mm-hmm. right? If you're just doing it robotically and just saying the words from a script and, like, you know, not really feeling those words, yeah. it's not going to work. Yeah. Um, you have to really believe in what you're saying. Yeah, no, a hundred percent. Because it's about embodying that energy. Exactly. And okay, so like I wanna segue to the next question, which is like, you know, how do we know if we're in a karmic relationship? Like I'm gonna share my experience for me. And you, you know, like you might think this is woo woo, but actually even like science has proven this about how like with with my ex um boyfriend, I felt like the the minute I saw his photo, like I was immediately gravitated towards him. And I and didn't understand why at, at the time, because at the time I was spiritual, but I was just like not really deep into like this work. So I remember just like being immediately gravitated. And then it was like an immediate connection, like, you know, looking into this person and it's like, oh my God, I think we've met before and I've known you for many lives and again at the time it like I wasn't verbalizing this but it felt like that right and now science is actually saying that when you meet somebody and and like you feel that connection right away it's just chemicals like going off in in your body and yeah but why with certain individuals right yeah I mean it's it's a little bit extra (coughs) when it comes to that one person yeah like why are you so drawn to that individual only and not like two other individuals standing next to that person yeah right um like you were meant to go on that journey yeah with that person but also i realized that towards the end when i was going through my my um breakup that it was a trauma bond because it's like i knew that this person was not right for me but i couldn't like, I just couldn't look away, you know? And I yeah, guess that's also how it. I like, know. Like, you know, you wouldn't have been here had it not been yeah. for that relationship. Yeah. So that relationship came in to to serve a certain purpose. Yeah. It was there for your spiritual up growth. Up level, yeah. yeah for I mean, I wouldn't have level. this podcast. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And, uh, you know, similarly for me, but it was a different kind of relationship. Yeah. Um, but we go through these because we have soul contracts with these individuals. Yeah. Right? We have agreed to come here on earth to sort of help each other experience something. And I'm sure even he has learned something from this. Yeah. Okay. We may not be able to see it, Mm -hmm. but it's his own path, his own way of looking at things and he will figure it out himself. But there's always like, you know, if we are having an exchange with someone in particular and the reason why we get drawn to it is because we're meant to learn that lesson only from that person. There is certain things that he has gone through in his life that has shaped him into the individual that he is that will only serve your purpose. Nobody else can serve that purpose. Yeah. Because nobody else will come with those same, like, you know... Um, like, unique blueprint. Exactly. Like, energetic blueprint, yeah. right? Like, that that's the that's the energetic blueprint that is that was meant to activate you. Exactly. But what do you think about, like, the timeline of it? Because, like, even... And I don't regret anything, right? Like, I mean, we've had conversations about this so many times. It's like, whatever that I've been through, I'm so happy because it activated me. But, like, what do you think about the timeline of it? Because, like... Are karmic relationships or like karma playing out in your life like 
does it have to be a specific timeline? Because when I when I look at my my journey, I'm like, I think I could have cut that shorter. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like I knew what the lesson was, but I still was like not listening to myself. Again, that was me disconnected from my higher self. And I think, I mean, you told me so many times, even within that journey, you're like, like it's done. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I'm like, no, no, no. Like, you know, I'm, I'm still going to so go for it. So that means you hadn't yet learned your lesson. Right? right. Like you were, again, going back to that school analogy, like maybe yeah. you were giving certain tests, like midterm tests. I was tests. stuck in like kindergarten. <laughs> Not even but you were not like you know passing those tests with like flying yeah. grades. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? It was like F. It was like <laughs> F minus exactly. Or even if it was like C minus, you would yeah. still have to like you know. Yeah, it was definitely work not a on C, getting yeah. up to an A and then only be here, right? And imagine that because I was at my rock bottom <laughs> at the time. Like I was like F, like getting Fs, and like that was that no, was no. But really definitely, hard. like when you work on neutralizing your karma. Yeah the timeline does reduce and the impact also reduces. So if you would have been like that makes heartbroken sense. for like a year, yeah. if you worked on neutralizing your karma, you're going to have be heartbroken for maybe like a couple of months only. Yeah. So, you know, in that sense, the impact that, that or the so pain sense. that yeah. it, that it causes you is going to reduce uh, drastically if you do the inner work. And at least if not, you'll just have a higher perspective. Because because for me, that's how I felt when like I hit my rock bottom. And I think that was the, the moment I learned my lesson where I was like, oh my God, okay, this person is not for me. I have to walk away. Mm-hmm. And I just felt like even though I was heartbroken, I was just like, okay. But I, I can see the lesson. I couldn't see my, my way out. Like it was hard. Yeah, but you could see the lesson. But, but I could accept which yeah. is why like what you said acceptance is really is the important first step, yeah and it's just like i could actually sit there and be like okay i accept that this is happening to me and i'm just gonna learn to like move forward from from this even though at the time i was in so much pain and i couldn't really see like the way out to feel better but at the same time i was like and those this are moments where you through. need guidance, right? Like you need oh somebody to like, you know, I couldn't have done pull it you alone. out of, of that situation and make yeah. you see the other side of things or like, you know, help you have a larger perspective on why you're going through something like this, which is, you know, primarily the work that I've been doing is that, you yeah. know, once people recognize that they are stuck or they see a certain pattern, they, they are able to understand what they're going through. Yeah. But they're not able to understand, like, you know, why they've gone through it and also how they should be coming out of it. Yeah. Um, so these two steps is, you know, really where you need that guidance to, you know, sort of pull you out and help you see, you know, all the wonderful things that you're capable of. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, this is why, like, even our um, sessions and our programs are, like, I made it as affordable as possible. It's because, like, during that time when you need support and when you need to be in a community with other people like it's so important like i have this one person that has dm'd me from like 2022 the same things like she just dm'd me again like about two days ago and i didn't reply because i was like i cannot help you if you don't think that you're worthy of an investment like to work on yourself and to actually get serious about healing Right. Because it's one thing to watch a bunch of videos, um, you know, like sort through TikTok and stuff. And it's another thing to say, you know what, I'm done. Yeah. And I'm just going to get support and I'm going to do this like once and for all, I'm going to heal. Yeah. Right. And and you're not trying to figure it out like you're actually getting support from somebody that has been through what you've been through. Yeah. That has the expertise to get you out of like your rock bottom. Right. Yeah. But if you but if you're wanting to sift through all these things, of course, it it is possible. It's just, just going to take, take a long longer. time. Yeah. You know, you so like everything out. Yeah. And so if you cannot even make that investment when you're in that space of like, OK, maybe it's time for me to like get this out and and i'm not like judging anybody for that of course because i feel like like you said like look at me it took me how long it took me like five years and everybody is on their own path and yeah. they have their own time to you know do this work but uh, yeah it does require a little bit of a commitment from your side mm-hmm. and an investment on on yourself for uh, some because, people because yeah i mean even my program is you know I, 
there was a time when i was doing you know single sessions but i've realized that you know it's a longer commitment it's a regular yeah. consistent commitment and that's why i have a whole program that will help you you know through all these different <coughs> aspects that we have spoken about today yeah. and really guide you through that step by step so it's essentially like you know think of think of like you know coming to a coach for your spiritual development for your like you know relationship development for your relationship with yourself is like a personal trainer who's sort of you know guiding you yeah through your journey through a fitness journey but not really for your physical Mind body gym. yeah exactly for your for your you know emotions for your thoughts for your um energy um yeah yeah okay so Let's just wrap this up, right? We've already talked about karmic relationships, how to know if you're in a karmic relationship. Like I think one of the um big things for me, how I knew I was in a karmic relationship was that um you see a loop. You yeah. see a, a I pattern. see a pattern. Yeah. I see a pattern. So like when I broke up with my uh recent ex, I realized that oh my god, he's basically the same like my previous ex. <laughs> and so I was like, and then yeah. when I went on this healing journey, I was like I'm actually healing both of them. Yeah. Cuz I cuz I didn't really have a big gap between one or two. And now I've been single for like 2 years and I kind of enjoyed. I was like telling her that I I feel like I'm just going to be alone with cats <laughs> because and, and I actually enjoy it because now I'm like I just don't want to date. You know what I mean? Like I really enjoy like um my time. But anyway, this is a phase, you know, like everybody goes through phases and you just honor it. But yeah, like I think when you see a pattern and also I feel like when you feel restless, like when you just feel like you know, you know maybe you get a feeling from like you know that gut feeling that we talk mm-hmm. about that you know this is not right for you and you need to get out of it. But you this, don't know how. And you don't know how. Yeah. That's again like you know an indication that you're stuck in something that is not meant for your higher good and it's yeah. a lesson that you're meant to learn from it and move on from it but mindfully not in a way that it affects you not with uh, hatred yeah. yeah 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 okay well um ritika thank you so much for taking the time we thank have like you. a lot of episodes but tell um our audience like where they can find you if they want to yes so um you. you can reach out to me on my instagram it's called karma rising you can also find me on youtube with the same handle it's called karma rising as well and uh, you can also send me an email karma rising 222 at @gmail.com um and karma rising is spelled k a r m a r i s i n g Okay, thank you so much thank Ritika. You. Um I will link Ritika's Instagram and all, like everything that you need to connect with her below. You could also get my tapping bundles below. If you are listening to this on Spotify, don't forget to leave us a review. If you're on YouTube, you can ask any comments. Um Ritika and I will answer. You could also get our hot higher self bracelets. They're beautiful. Get them. Their chakra <laughs> bracelets, they will be linked okay, below. Okay, what am I wearing? Can you just quickly Okay, so this one is a malachite and a carnelian. This is for the heart chakra and the solar plexus. This is beautiful. It's a tree agate and a malachite. So this one is very grounding. It also opens up your heart. Mm. This one we have an amazonite and white cat's eye with turquoise. This is very like connected to your emotions and healing your emotions, healing your crown chakra and your throat chakra. And this one is a howlite and also it's an amazonite. So it's very like throat chakra and crown chakra healing. So you and can I'd get these. And I love to like stack them up. Yeah, they're they're like they're very colorful and they're yeah. very beautiful. And I'm wearing a tiger's eye and a malachite and a soda light and lapis lazuli. So you like any chakras that you want to heal, <laughs> you can get the crystal bracelets below. All right, thank you guys so much for joining and thank I you. will see you next time. Bye.